It's David versus Goliath. The Philippines takes China to court to settle the dispute over the strategic South China Sea. But the Asian superpower refuses to participate, ignoring the December 15 deadline a UN tribunal set. The Chinese government will neither accept nor participate in the arbitration. Yeah, we, we, we looked at our records. Manila says arbitration is its last resort after decades of Chinese diplomatic stonewalling and naval aggression. The Philippines asked the tribunal to strike down China's controversial nine-dash line, citing the UN Law of the Sea Treaty. Analysts doubt China will comply with an unfavorable decision. This might be a way to resolve it, but will it come up in our favor, right? So here, we're, we're, we're trying to achieve clarity, but are we going to get the result that we want? As I said, if the UN, UN body does rule in our favor, who's going to enforce it? The Aquino administration seeks global support for arbitration to pressure China into compliance. Vietnam files its own comment before the tribunal, joining the Philippine case. The United the States Asia is among the strongest voices backing its treaty ally. President Obama has been relatively consistent on the South China Sea. He, uh, he stuck with the, the right argument, in my view, which is uh, the United States has an interest in seeing these disputes resolved by rule of law and based on uh, using international institutions. But Filipino legal experts question whether military agreements with the U.S. apply to disputed areas. Our goal is not to counter China. Our goal is not to contain China. Uh, our goal is to make sure that international rules and norms are respected. Pundits also say crisis in the Middle East and Ukraine and Obama's loss in the November midterm polls weaken his pivot to Asia. International law professor Julian Ku says depicting China as a rogue nation will not ensure its compliance. Beijing cites technical issues on jurisdiction to justify ignoring arbitration. Beyond the legal case, Ku says the Philippines should improve on its diplomatic and military strategy. You admit that you have no leverage against China because you don't have the economic leverage over China or military leverage over China, which is why you brought this case in the first place. So that's fine, but that means that if you get an award, then you still have no leverage over China um, to get it enforced. With or without China's response, the case proceeds and a decision is expected by early 2016. A rising China and a weakening America. The South China Sea dispute plays out against the backdrop of the rivalry between the two superpowers. With uncertainties about Manila's legal case and the U.S. pivot to Asia, experts say the Philippines must do more to strengthen its diplomatic, political, and military muscle. A comprehensive strategy will give the Philippines more leverage in this geopolitical chess game. I am Karaig Rappler, Washington, D.C.